Hello everyone, and welcome back to our training videos on ProPresenter 7. Today's video will be about arrangements and the label tab in Preferences. To get to an arrangement, first select a presentation in either a playlist or a library, then go up to the top line and select the Arrangements icon, and now you can see your arrangement. So the first thing you see is your master. So arrangements are based off of grouped slides. So you group your slides and then you can change the order or sequence of your slides based off of maybe whatever the band is playing for the song this week. And you can save multiple versions of the same song in different arrangements. So to create a group, you can right click on a slide, go down to group, and then select your group name so we're going to go with BG for the first slide, background. So this is where we drop any of our media that would be background to our lyrics. And if you notice that when I put the group on this slide, it applied it to all the slides after it. And this will happen up to the next group name that it sees. So if I apply the verse group, verse one group to this slide, it's going to apply it all to the rest. I'm going to go back and apply the blank slide group to this slide and notice that it only does this slide because it sees that there's a new group right after it. So then we can add the rest of our labels. And now our master shows all of our different groups. So to create an arrangement, we can do this drop down menu and click on new arrangement and we can name it and it'll automatically populate that arrangement with the order of your master. So now that you have it in here you can bring in more slides from your master so maybe there is a blank between each verse and maybe there's a blank at the end of the song you can also remove a slide, so maybe there is not a blank before verse 1. Then you can manage your arrangements. So you could duplicate an arrangement and make a quick change. You could add an arrangement. This is going to copy your master again. And then finally you could delete an arrangement. It's important to remember that when you're in an arrangement, that you are in groups and so anything that you change on a verse one will change it in every verse one that is in your arrangement. So then slides can also have a label. So if I right click on verse one slide, I can go down to label. I could remove a label. I could pick one of the labels we've already created or I could create a new label. Just like creating a new group um, you would name it. So maybe there is a note we need to leave. Be early. You can put a color behind your label or no color. And then you can choose whether or not to save that label. Then that label appears on your slide and it always appear to the right side of your slide and the group name will appear to the left side of the slide. Group names will only be on the first slide of your group, and then a slide label is per slide only. So again, to remove that label, I could just go and say none, and it would go away. You can also go to Preferences, and go to the Label tab, and then you can see all of your groups that you've created, the colors you have associated with them, and whether or not you have a hotkey. You could add a new group, and you could select a group and delete it. You can also go down to your slide labels, see all the labels that you've created, whether or not you've put a color on them. This means that we've chosen no color. And you can also create a new label. So I hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching.